Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, we're gonna check out how to play Yesterday by the Beatles. This is a fingerstyle arrangement lesson for this song. It's quite easy to play. It's in standard tuning, and we don't need any capo for this song. So let's get right into it. It's a great song to play on guitar. And this is also my first Beatles lesson on this channel. So here we go. Alright, then let's take a look at the first shape that we have over here. We've got first fret on the top string, third fret and third fret on fourth and on fifth and fourth strings. Then you have open on third string. So first you're going to pick top string and third string together. Then you're going to pick twice on the fourth string. Now either you can pick top string and third string together or you can do a finger roll so here we are picking you know all the four strings top string four, fifth string fourth string third string like this and then pick twice on the fourth string and after that so here you're picking the top string then you're picking fifth and fourth strings together two times so you get pick top string first fret and then top string open right so from the beginning so here after doing first fret and open on top string after open you come to second fret second fret and second fret on fifth string fourth string and third string right so So here you're going to pick first fret and open this is where we left off and then fifth string and you have fourth string and third string together second fret and then second string open so from the beginning Once again, then after that, so here you're picking fifth string open and second string, second fret together. Then you pick third fret on second string, then open and first fret on the first string. So Once again from the beginning all right now again instead of doing this what you can also do is so here we are adding second fret on fourth string and then we're doing a finger roll so instead of we do right so this is fifth string fourth string third string second string and then rest is the same third fret on second string open and first fret on first string so from the beginning you got okay then what you do is so here you have open on first string and open on fourth string picked together. Then you have second fret on third string and third fret on second string. Going to pick them together two times, right? So, okay, from the beginning once again. So this is going to be open on 4th string, 2nd fret on 3rd string, 3rd fret on 5th string, and 
open on third string. So from the beginning. first fret on fifth string third fret on fourth string then third fret and third fret on second and third strings together picked two times all right so this is going to be your b flat chord after that so you come to c third fret on fifth string first fret on second string picked together then so this is 3rd fret, 2nd fret and open on 3rd string. So, okay, let's take, let's, take, let's take it from the beginning again. So here you've got third fret on fourth string and second fret on third string. You're going to pick them together at the same time. You're going to do a little hammer on from second to third fret on the third string. Then remove that ring finger, go back to this shape, and play it over there two times. All right, third and fourth strings together. So then after that, so this is going to be top string first fret. 4th string 3rd fret and then open on 3rd string okay so then after that right so here you have 5th fret on 5th string 3rd fret on 4th string pick them together then you come to 4th string and 3rd string all right uh, you're going to pick them together on a th and on third string you're going to do a hammer on from open to second fret then again pick fourth and third strings together with third string open and fourth string third fret so you get right once again and then so this is going to be top string third fret fourth string open third string open fourth string open again so in the very end so this is you picking first fret on fifth string and third fret on fourth string together and you come back to f first fret on top string third fret and third fret on fifth and fourth strings and second fret on third string and you're going to pick top string fourth string and third string all together two times all right uh, fifth string if you want you can pick all right so that completes your first segment of the arrangement let's play all of that once again all right show you a little change that you can do you can do on the first string over here this comes in that this part instead of instead of this you can do this so this is a little change that I make sometimes I what I do is you know do a hammer on and pull off quickly on the first string open to first fret and from first fret to open again go to D minor all right so that's the only little change that you can, that you can do now after what you can do is so this is 
stop string fourth string third string and fourth string again now you're going to repeat the whole segment one more time And now you go into the bridge of the song, you call this the bridge or the second segment, it doesn't really matter, we just have these two parts in the song, there's nothing else. Alright, so now we come over here. And then we go into the second part. Alright, so we start with... So here you have 2nd fifth, 2nd fifth, and 2nd fifth on 5th, 4th and 3rd strings, alright? So here you're first going to pick top string and 3rd string together. Then you pick 5th string, 4th string, 3rd string. So, then after that, so this is going to come to A major chord, alright? Um, Open on 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret, right? So here you're picking 3rd fret and 5th string open together. Then 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, right? So... After that... So here you have open on 4th string and... 3rd fret on 2nd string pick together then after that so 1st string open and 3rd fret on 5th string pick together so so here you have 1st fret and 1st fret on 1st string and the 5th string then you have open and open on 5th string and 1st string alright so third fret on second string then you have open on first string and third fret on top string pick together all right so let's start from over here all right now after that so this is open on third string third fret on second string Come to C major, you've got third fret on fifth string and first fret on second string pick together. Then you have third fret on second string. Then you have second fret on third string. Alright, so all in all. you've picked that second fret on third string you're going to put your F major chord on all right and you do this so F major chord and you're going to pick top string fifth string fourth string right and third string so string six five four three then one two three four right so six five four three so let's start again from the beginning for the segment. Alright, I repeat the whole part once again from here. This is also going to be the same. This is this will also be the same. Till here, all right. Till here, everything will be the same on C major, third fret on fifth string, and first fret on second string. During the first time, you went to but the, during the second time, you stop over here, all right. So, let's play first and second parts together.
Gebet. Right till here. And after this, so here you have open on first string, so. And then you do this. So come to F major. You've got third fifth on fourth string, second fifth on third string, one and one on first two strings. Pick first string and fourth string together. Then fourth string, second string, and fourth string again. Okay. And then so this is going to be now third fifth on third string, third fifth on fourth string. All right, so and second fret on third string and fourth string again, third fret. So slowly, all right. So that will complete your second segment. Let's play the whole thing once again. going to repeat the verse once again now here the verse is just going to be played once right in the beginning we played the whole verse two times now we're just going to play once After playing the verse just one time, going to go back into that um, that second segment or the chorus. back to the verse this is going to be the ending now this you're going to repeat this part again of this verse right so I hope you remember this this is during the very end of this part over here that we did from here go to G and you can repeat this again go back to this part One scheme. So here, what you what you can do is fifth and fourth strings together, hammer on. Ins then instead of open on third string, you can do open on second string. All right, so and then G, end it like that. All right. So I hope there's no confusion on this part. This is just the same part in the very end of the segment. So you come from over here, right? Uh, in, in the opening. After this, whatever is repeated, is just repeated in the end. So 
so that is it a simple arrangement for yesterday by the Beatles I hope you liked it uh, make sure to check out how to play more finger style arrangement lessons on my channel and uh, yeah that is it for today I really appreciate all the support all the feedback all the likes all the comments I really appreciate all of that I'll see you guys again in the next lesson till then take care and goodbye keep playing keep practicing